Welcome to Linux Central Programming Service. The topic is Managing Documents in Linux. Files. Before entering to standard files, we will see about the basics of a computer system, which consists of main three parts. First one, you call it as an input device, that is keyboard and mouse that, you, that are used to accept the data from the user. Output device like monitor and printer that is used to display any information or give any error message to a user. And the third one is a processing device, which has CPU that processes the user input according to some instruction and give that uh, desired output to the user. Access device are carry, process carry over like standard input tool like the keyboard, the command interpreter, and from the command it is given for the display to the standard output. It may be a monitor. So standard input is keyboard and standard output is some terminal. Command is being used from <clears throat> in two-way direction. Next comes an important concept called file descriptor. In Linux or Linux, everything is a file. Regular file, directories, and even devices, everything are treated as files. Every file has an associated number called file descriptor, FD in short. It is nothing but a number that refers to open a file. Every process in Linux is provided with three open file descriptors called standard input, output, and error files. These are the three types of files. Standard input file first one. It accepts the input from the user for various commands that each input. The keyboard is the default source of input and it is referred as to the standard input file. Standard output file, it displays the output of a command to the user. You can say the example as a monitor that is used to give the output in the file. Likewise, in monitor, the program codings are being displayed. Standard error file. It displays error message which is generated during a command execution. Uh, that command execution error message is also displayed on the monitor. If you got any error in your compilation, that is also displayed in the monitor. Standard input, standard output, and error with the file descriptors 0 and 1 and 2 respectively. So, standard input is a default place where process reads input, input keyboard. And standard output is a where a process writes output, usually terminal, that is a monitor. And standard error can, a where a process can send its error message, it is also maybe in the terminal. Likewise, program is there by using the standard input by the file descriptor 0, that user gives the input, program processes it, and gives the output in two ways. One to the standard output, if it gives character output, if we have any error, it is sent to Standard error with the file descriptor number two. So then, that is going to change the assignment. Instead of taking input from the keyboard, you're going to give it you're taking from the file. Instead of writing output to a command or sorry, instead of writing output to a monitor, you're going to write to a disk file or to the printer. Direction can be same. So one equal to input redirection, second output redirection, and third one equal to error redirection. First one, input redirection. The syntax to redirect the input of a command to come from a file is command with the option and with the argument. And uh, this bracket is used to denote your input redirection followed by the file name. The less than symbol is used for input redirection. Example, wc l less than command.txt means the input to the wc command comes from the file named command.txt. The shell sends the contents of the file command.txt as a standard input for the wc command. You can also combine both the redirection with the syntax. This is input redirection. This is output redirection you are going to see in the subsequent slides. Let's see an example. cat less than test1. Less than symbol implies the input redirection from the file test1 can also be determined with the file descriptor 0. I hope you remember that 0 indicates the input redirection. Comes the output redirection syntax. Same way, here the greater than symbol is used for output redirection. Example is that. Uh, to, 
the particular information from the tar file is being passed to the this text file command of txt same way in this example also cat test ones greater than symbol how to test means here you are going to copy that particular output to the test file instead of monitor likewise here it works input from the keyboard bash command to file means it is written or it is for the to display also it is being taken over to the monitor Next comes an operator double greater than symbol. What is the purpose of this double greater than symbol? This means you are going to append the output to the file. Already a file exists. You are going to add a particular data to that file. Means you have to use this double arrow mark symbol that we call it as append redirection. The last step is error redirection. Standard error by default goes to the same place as standard output. That is to the shell window of terminal. You're going to create that particular the syntax is same way. Here, the file descriptor two denotes that it is an error redirection. File descriptor two descriptor, uh, descriptor number for standard error. So this is the example illustrating the usage of error redirection. Instead of giving with, with the file name, the error redirection. Descriptor file descriptor is being denoted with the number two in this diagram. Hope no, hope you all know that bash is a shell. With that shell, you are getting input from the keyboard, going to display with the file or to the file, to the monitor or to the file. So each file in Linux has a corresponding file descriptor associated with it. Keyboard is a standard input device, while your screen is a standard output device. Greater than symbol is the output redirection operator. Double greater than symbol is used to append output to an existing file, and less than symbol is used for input redirection operator. Hope you all understand about the managing documents with the file descriptors and redirection. For watching.